Another great question sent in to our experts comes from Tony Dean. She asks, what type of material is best for pike fishing traces? Tony, here's your expert. It's not a case of one or the other. I tend to use both depending on the situation, the fish, location, lures, etc. A couple of things to start with. One of the main things is you can see the difference in thickness between the wire, which is 40 pound titanium, and this one, which is a fluorocarbon 100 pound breaking strain. You can see the difference in the thickness straight away. One of the things that I prefer about fluoro is when you're trolling especially, a pike can roll up the line. When it rolls up the line, I can pull that as hard as I want. My finger will go red and eventually drop off, but it's not going to cut in. If I try doing that with the wire, it's literally like a cheese wire. If I pull it any tighter than that, it's going to start to cut in. That's exactly what it does when it wraps around any fish, whether that be a pike, perch, whatever, that can cut into them as well. One of the main advantages with fluorocarbon, it is impossible to kink it. Literally, you can wrap it round, you can tie it in a knot, untie it, and it'll just spring straight back to shape again. They don't deform. If they do, from where they've been coiled, you simply straighten them out, leave them straightened out for a couple of minutes, and they'll stay like it. Bomb proof, except with sharp edges. Very good abrasion resistance, so bouncing over rocks, edges of walls, trees, branches, anything, nothing like that will damage them. Also, because it's clear, you can see if there's any teeth marks in it, any catches, if you're starting to degrade, and simply throw it away. It's not worthwhile risking second-hand or old traces. If they're not up to it, dump them. A couple of things that people always go on about with fluorocarbon, it's invisible. I can see it. You can see it. Therefore, it's not invisible. When it's in water, it's got almost the same refractive index, so it should disappear. However, it still doesn't. It's less visible than a trace wire, but they are by no means invisible. It's the toughness, it's the longevity, that's the main factors that I like with them. Wire traces, obvious advantage, it's thinner, cuts down through the water quicker. It is 100% tooth proof, whereas fluorocarbon isn't. So wire will not get bitten through. However, it gets kinked, it gets trapped, and when it goes, it just snaps. So yes, the pike isn't gonna be able to bite through the wire, but you could still lose it because of the components or the trace itself failing. So which do I prefer? Both. Which do I hear the most? Probably fluorocarbon. However, there's a place for both in everybody's tackle box. If you have a question for Ask an Expert, then tweet, post or send it to us, either filmed or typed, and we'll find a fishing expert to answer it for you.